this is a great question from Cindy and she is asking why do small children and toddlers get cancer? I feel they are too young to have the type of stress, stress you speak of and this relates to an article I've written uh, on Facebook and uh, you know, basically the answer to that question uh, is quite simple. Uh, well, children at that age uh, can experience serious stress. Even the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention have admitted that children can uh, develop cancer because they have serious stress uh, during early uh, childhood or even before they are born. So there, there, it is very well known that uh, you know, children can develop cancer because of serious uh, stress levels. Um, now, stress alone doesn't tend to do it. Uh, it, it needs some other cofactors. And I've written an article on the subject, uh, which you can find on my website, uh, entitled Cancer is Not a Disease. And there is a section on uh, the causes of childhood cancers. And uh, overall, uh, children can be exposed to severe tox toxicities and uh, that you, you can uh, determine by uh, doing a blood test on a newborn and uh, newborns now have uh, over 250 different chemicals, uh, toxic chemicals in their bloodstream that uh, didn't exist even 30, 40, 50 years ago. So it, it, a newborn child is no longer a healthy child, uh, at least not in our hemisphere where hormones, pesticides, air pollutants, all those different things that a mother is ingesting or receiving uh, while she's growing a baby in her womb is being exposed to. Uh, food alone co it contains so many chemical components nowadays that they do get stuck in the, in the mother's body. Uh, it impacts the liver uh, functions and the ability of the mother to detoxify the blood is becoming impaired which also means that she cannot uh, keep the, the child toxin free as it is growing in her womb. Now there are um, many uh, other you know, reasons that why a child can develop uh, cancer early on and one of the greatest reasons is uh, vaccination and uh, there are one, 151 scientific studies uh, that have shown that if children are prevented to uh, detoxify naturally by going through childhood illnesses which are naturally creating immunity to disease, these children that have been um, immunized uh, have uh, a much, much, much higher rate of developing uh, risk of developing cancer later in life and sometimes quite early in life, like uh, blood cancers, leukemias. Now, uh, another reason why uh, children uh, can you know, become more prone to developing cancer is because they have not been breastfed, and there are studies to sh show clearly that um, you know, children that are not breastfed uh, are more prone to developing cancer. Uh, the, there are certain uh, vaccines which I you know, want to mention like hepatitis B uh, vaccine given to children for no good reason uh, because uh, this is a sexually, sexually transmitted disease uh, or it comes from blood transfusions which children typically don't, uh, you know, they don't fall into that category. So, but hepatitis B uh, vaccine has uh, serious consequences, it can cause death and uh, many other uh, you know, serious immune deficiency uh, you know, has uh, immune deficiency effects that are detrimental to the growth of uh, cells in the body during that early time in their lives. Now there can be uh, certain kinds of foods that the child is exposed to uh, that often trigger allergies uh, that can uh, create chronic inflammation uh, in, the, in the child and chronic inflammation is always a, a precursor for cancers uh, such as milk products, uh, if they are lactose intolerant, they get gas, they cry the mother feeds even more of those formula foods to them 
uh, soon they will have a chronic in, in inflammation in the gut which can uh, then affect uh, many parts of the body and create excessive amounts of uh, white blood cells to combat that which uh, can then overtax uh, the bone marrow, uh, healthy blood production and uh, lead to immature cells, uh, immune cells which uh, then can uh, show up as leukemia. So again, uh, you know, th there are many uh, things that you know, people are usually not aware of that can cause cancers in uh, children. Uh, here, one of them is uh, also the treatment of young children with antibiotics, which uh, impair or suppress the growing immune system, and uh, and uh, these you know, antibiotics uh, you know, are very serious, uh, have very serious effects. Uh, not just on adults, but especially in young children. Uh, then there are natural, there are unnatural uh, additives uh, in drinking water. For example, uh, recently the CDC announced uh, that uh, young children or toddlers uh, you should not be exposed to tap water that has added fluoride in it, and uh, because uh, of the you know, Fluoride is a very strong uh, poison uh, that is added to drinking water under the pretense that it helps uh, with the, you know, the teeth of children, which has never been proven. Quite the opposite, it can cause damage to teeth. Uh, but fluoride uh, is a carcinogen and it can cause cancer. And that's why now there is a great uh, amount of caution, at least to keep uh, children away uh, fr you know, from uh, tap water that has been polluted with fluoride. Uh, there is another uh, common reason uh, that is uh, you have, you're not known by most people, and that is uh, cutting or, or clamping the umbilical cord uh, in you know, between the mother and uh, the child as soon as it's born, um, instead of waiting for about uh, you know, 60, up to 60 minutes until the umbilical cord stops throbbing, which is very, very important because uh, during those uh, 40 to 50, 60 minutes of uh, the blood exchange, that means the blood is you know, constantly circulating between mother and child back to the mother through the placenta where the blood is filtered, where all the toxins and waste products that occur during uh, the birthing process are eliminated uh, so that the blood of the child is completely clean, completely pure, and it is well oxygenated. If uh, the umbilical cord is clamped or, or cut uh, right away, which is now typical so that you know, the mother can uh, you know, be released from the hospital very quickly, and uh, you know, there's a lot of, uh, you know, it's like making uh, room for the next patient, uh, there's there is a, a disadvantage to that. The child will only about have about 60% or even less of the amount of oxygen in the blood when this uh, clamping occurs too early. So this leaves uh, often a very, you know, talk, you know, a very large number of toxic substances in the tissues of the baby, which then can lead to inflammation and uh, later on to uh, your cancerous uh, growth. So um, having said that, there, there are far uh, you know, too many uh, reasons to discuss in a short video like this. So if you're more interested, uh, read the article which you find on my website, energy.com, E-N-E-R-C-H-I.com, on the articles page.